Folks, seems like something's missing. I'm not hearing those sleigh bells, but I am hearing that it's time to tell you what we got for Christmas right here on my take on Home and Garden. Folks, we got a lot of fun coming up on our, what we got for Christmas. And I just want to remind our wonderful new friends, please subscribe. You know, it costs nothing. Subscribe and push that bell notification so you don't miss a video. We had a wonderful, just a lovely, warm, heartfelt, down-to-earth Christmas. I hope you had the same or better even. Just wonderful this year. I'm gonna have a lot to show you and I'm not gonna be able to detail the ornaments because there's quite a batch. Cause you know, I'll get Angela what she likes and she'll get me what I like. And this year it seems to have been amplified somehow. So anyway, look at just some of these. And then of course we'll show them up close. <laughs> Unbelievable. Where you're gonna go guys Santa in a blow-up ducky floaty <laughs> with a bag of starfish and shells that he found. So, you know, Christmas is over. Time to relax on the beach now. <laughs> Too good. Here's another one. Here he is, looking for some refreshment, climbing the palm tree. Love, love, love the blue Bermuda shorts. <laughs> I'll show them all together, but I just want to show you a, a handful of, to give you an idea. She got the coolest, I've never seen these. It's a whole group of different nutcracker ornaments, and I'm telling you, they're all different. Look at this guy. Love the green outfit, and he has a sword to his side. <laughs> Really good. Look at this guy. Love the, the turban cap with the cross. Too good. Here's the, the one different ones I got her now. Another cool owl. You saw one we showed in a hall shopping by when we went together. This one is different and he does have real feathers cute as can be and that's robert stanley from your local hobby lobby oh boy oh yeah check it out i got her new gingerbread man from hobby lobby too cute guys and the cute frosted cookies them stark gingerbread star cookies, snowflake cookies that are all hand frosted and glazed and sugared and they look so darn real, you want to take a bite. Here's another, something different. She loved this, I did too. Look at this owl from Hobby Lobby. It's the flatter ornament, like a disc and the real feathers coming up. <laughs> Loved that. Here's something else I got. I sent away for this. This was uh, Amazon. It doesn't look like much in the package, okay? But it opens up and it's a candy cane fence for the gingerbread village. <laughs> it's too good. I think it's... Yeah, peppermint fence in its department 56. Now, this was Amazon too. Kurt Adler gingerbread house ornament collection. Look at these. Now these are really special, okay? Why they light up? Look at this, I can get rid of that tag here. 
Look at this. Now it's changing color too. How cute is that? Look at the color change. And there's, you get three of these in a little set. I thought they were fabulous. This is something from the oldest boy and his fiance. And it's an Arctic owl. And you know we like our owls, it is precious. Just loved him. Quite a bit too, you know, we're not gonna show socks and underwear and clothes and shirts and got a, just a bunch of those. You don't care about them. Eventually you'll see them anyway when we're wearing them. <laughs> then on the thrift and estate sales, frankly, I think this is all estate sale, yeah. When she wasn't with me, I got her quite a new little grouping of goodies. And if you remember when I did a sale, I'd come back and say, hey, you know, I got her some stuff, but I can't show it. And I gotta hide it, cause she's gonna edit. Look at this jewelry box. Beautiful piece. And it's made in Italia. Italian heart-shaped jewelry box with Pootie on the front. Pootie is the cherub, the little angels, the children. They're not always angels. This is another metallic and 22 karat gold. And it is footed and I'm having a fit that the uh, maker foil is peeled off and there's just not enough there to see but we're not going to worry about it real cute for her little jewelry box collection you guys can see in another video if you're new and you're you haven't seen it angela has uh awful cute uh jewelry box collection and ormolu Here's another thing she loves, the old perfume bottles, and this is, of course, the old atomizer. <laughs> With the pump bulb. And we'll try to, it's, it's stained over time, over the years. It's quite a unique one. Real cute, good size, loved it, the color. We'll, we'll try to clean that up a bit, you know, with just soap and water. No time today. Then what do we do? You know the girls got the beautiful amethyst collection. You can see that on a video back in our uh, channel. Select that one, it's a dandy. Here is a new picture. This is hand blown, I can tell feeling the bottom. This is from probably West Virginia. 99% chance, right there. Amethyst crackle glass pitcher, just gorgeous. Then the same estate sale, look at this gorgeous vase. It goes from cranberry to amethyst now, okay? And it's in what I call, oh, the crimped and f curled lip form. It's also the, sh the shaft here and neck is twisted. I'm pretty sure it's Fenton. Real sure it's Fenton. So got a good buy on that. Moving it along. <laughs> Look at this. Now she got me, she knows I love my Santa tree. She got me this ornament that's like a Santa cup, a mug, you know, the Santa mug. I never saw this ever anywhere. And she found it. You can see the mercury-like reflection inside. He's got a fuzzy cap, really cute. 
You know, you know me, I'm gonna probably put a little miniature holly or something in there when I go to hang it. Next year, then heck, don't worry, it's not that far away. <laughs> By the time we start getting ready for it, right, guys? The old world Christmas ornaments come in the cute box. There's no mistake in how it looks Victorian, and it's, of course it says old world Christmas. And this is what our little daughter got her mom this year. I've never seen it. I loved it. You know how you can buy the group of peppers, red, green, and yellow together for that specialty sale at her veggie tray that you want to do in the old world ornaments. How cute is it? Oh man. <laughs> Real good. She loved that. Next, we're getting into some bigger stuff. This was a real surprise to me. Angela got me this sleigh for our sleigh collection. I've never seen anything like it, ever. It's real bent wood. It's bent wood veneer, the body, the skis, the legs, and truss in a metal frame, fur lined. It looks so Nordic and Viking, I can't get over it. I'm nuts about it. Just crazy about this is so different, right? You can't find that. You just, I, I can't get over it. I love that she found something so unique so there's the new addition to our sleigh collection like you've heard me say it before this is how we build a collection now this is a cute story angela got me this you might have seen it i know a lot of you went to uh hobby lobby this year and i'm purposely only showing this side I wanted this bed. The thing was $49.95. Uh, okay. Then I waited for the half off and I'm standing in front of it and I still didn't want to pay that. She had went out after work to be alone, you know, and she got me this at the 66% off. <laughs> Bless her heart. And I want to show you why I wanted it so bad. You know, you know we have a couple size stickers now. I had done this with our bigger one, right? Because we got samples that we bought when we set up our store. Look at this one. This is why I wanted the truck. <laughs> First of all, it's too darn cute. And then second of all, I knew without measuring that sticker was going to fit on the side of the truck. Where you're going to go, guys. <laughs> How good. All I can do to beat that is to have a real truck that you can drive on the road. <laughs> Unbelievable. Too good. Moving along. Another one from our, besides candy, cookies, and goodies from uh, my oldest son. His girlfriend's a sweetheart, his fiance. And we, she got us a snowman on a sled and we never get a new, I could probably said it before, we just never get a new snowman for some reason. You know, we think about everything else. Too good, look at him, on a sled. So we really appreciated that. Next, just like last year, I had to sneak in a teapot and check it out, guys. Yes, I found a different Christmas teapot for Angela. 
And it's by Cosmos, like two of our other ones, if you remember. And this one has the cardinal and pine boughs and pine cones. You remember my story about how that lid is going to hook on the high side to help you hold that on. Two cute folks. And let me tell you, I don't know if anybody else had any trouble with uh, ordering and shipping online, because I do a lot of it now, because we're so darn busy. And everybody's been really good. I think it's just because of some of the baloney, you know, that was going on this year. Only one thing, and it was, it's for my daughter, and it, it's her biggest gift, did not make it on time for Christmas. As long as it makes it, period, we'll be okay, you know. But only one thing, and some of these just squeaked in <laughs> on time. And I mean, they were ordered and with plenty of time. So it, we did feel that actually be affected by, you know, some of that that was going on. Now here's my thrifting again. Just love this. And then what's funny, I left the tag on, which normally I would have a fit and I don't like that. I don't do that for anybody, but between husband and wife, you know, we wanna let each other know when we, we got a good buy. So when she saw that little price tag hanging off, she couldn't get over. I got this, this is an artichoke vase. <laughs> It's quite substantial and heavy. It's really wonderful. It's a pottery, glazed pottery. Nothing wrong with it. And I got this at a yard sale, just running around, picking up a kid, going to the grocery store, whatever, and saw a sign, you know, and I'll go to sniff it out, see if there's anything good. And sure enough, this was fantastic. I mean, it's everything to hold it in one hand. It's so beefy, $5. <laughs> love, love that. Next, we're moving along. You know Angela is gonna be a sweet pea and get me a new cloth teak Santa. You've seen enough of them. And if you haven't seen enough of them, <laughs> I think we have four videos on Cloth Teak Santas. So it's a huge collection of ours. Uh, over the years, my mother started us on it. She left us a very large amount of them. Here is, he is new this year, okay? Santa riding the polar bear. And let me try to get his light on. Check it out, guys. Too good. He's holding a lantern. And it is a, you know, battery operated. Just fantastic. Just love, love, love him. The white Arctic Santa uniform is very different. There's very few like this. It's kind of like the Lennox teapot, you know. That's the Arctic North Pole Santa suit. And you don't see it very often. So I loved it. She got me that, I couldn't take it. Now, I don't even know how to act with this next one. I promise I'm not gonna get choked up. <laughs> when we look at our cloth teak collection over 20 years and then my mother's injection of an incredible amount of I mean like 55 or 60 cloth teeth from her okay and other kids got some too it was an incredible love of hers uh, I can't go on and on about it because I'll get all choked up but she started that and then 
you know, even when she was here, she would uh, get one or two a year for us. So we continued a lot of those uh, ideas and collections and we get some every year as you know if you've been here with us we've continued that so we'll I usually don't buy them for myself because I know Angela's looking and she'll find them anyway there's one every year you know you stare at it and it's pretty pricey and it's not the first thing you think you're gonna get because frankly it might be if you got it it might be the only thing you get <laughs> that's how pricey right if I could only have one thing this next one is what I would want if I only got one thing and that's all the money there was this is the thing I'd want and this year she got it for me so as usual you know the girl just keeps on going this is Santa with his eight reindeer taken off taken off of the rooftops <laughs> with the eight reindeer whipping around making that turn just Loved it. Just gotta love. This is a highlight of of the collection forever. For it's a lifetime piece. And this is why we have what we have. So you understand. The people that don't understand, it'll help them maybe think. We don't order a pizza on Friday. We don't go out to eat and drop a hundred, hundred and a half. This is what we do. So everybody's different, just so you understand. And we're not loaded, you know that. I'm thrifting, we bargain shop, we cook our own food. I can pinch and save, boy, look out. But what do I do with that saved money? This is what we do. That's why we have incredible wonderful beautiful collections and on top of that we're gonna get a good price and we're gonna shop 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 and get it down to where you can afford it so this is how we do it and i am over the moon with this one okay guys so we're <laughs> we're still going over angela's new cloth teak gingerbread train with Santa with his helper in the back with all the the sack full of toys oh my goodness too cute too good all right I'm put him over here got one more thing for you to show you this might get you excited for What's gonna be coming after, you know, the first quarter of the year, we'll be heading that way. This, I've never seen before. I got this in an antique shop, and it was a pretty good buy, and it is by Fitz and Floyd. Look how fabulous. It's a biscuit jar, cookie jar, just exquisite folks and I got that for Angela this year so you see we're already building and thinking to spring but she loves her bunnies and her spring decor and I sure hope you like or what we got for Christmas guys and I hope you got what you wanted for Christmas or even some surprises I can just see out there I can see those smiles and grins 
and a lot of happiness. Don't forget to be happy, guys. It's all coming soon. The glorious change and switch and everything's going to be good. Wonderful. Beautiful year coming. Take care, everybody. Pick up your favorite, my take on home and garden item and collectible. And we're going to see you in the next exciting over the top decorator and collector video. Count on it. We're always going to have fun here, too. Blessings, and see you soon.